All right. Let's hit present. Okay. So I'm happy to say that this is my poster and I'm super proud of it. I was very excited whenever we first started this experiment. So I am very pleased with all the outcomes that I got. And this is all of the information put on the poster, but I made sure to make slides for each of them. That way I could go more into depth. So at the very beginning, the very first lab, the very, very first day that we even walked into the lab, we got to learn about AMR. And AMR is antimicrobial resistance, which is basically a long word for antibiotic resistance. And unfortunately, this is a really big problem right now because not a lot of people are producing funds for research for this. And so they have resulted to um, college campuses, science scientists, um, young scientists, pretty much anyone who has a microbiology field present where you can do experiments. And so that is where we come today, where we're the beginning of this big change. And so whenever I first learned about microbiology, I was very scared because <laughs> micro is just really teeny tiny and I didn't know if I would actually be good at it or not. So it scared me a little bit. But I am very happy to be proven wrong because I honestly love microbiology. And as a little kid, I used to love playing in dirt and finding all kinds of cool and interesting things in that dirt. And honestly, it's crazy to think that it's been that almost 18 years later, I'm allowed to play in the same dirt, but I get to find some pretty scary <laughs> microbes like botulism and E. coli. Like those are big words and kind of scary, but honestly, it's, it's amazing at the same time. And so the experiment beginning is to find a soil sample. And so everyone has a different soil sample. And my overall thing was to make sure that I find the soil sample that no one else is going to have. And so being an equestrian, I get to track around a lot of dirt. And I mean a lot of dirt. And so I just thought, why not get the dirt that I walk in every day and that horses go in and that deer and cattle and lizards and worms go in like there's so much it doesn't even have like coverage half of it was covered half of it wasn't so I tried to find different stuff like that and so I was super excited and uh, I used this one as one of my first ones because this is one of the first plates I ever did with my soil and so the overall goal for my research was to find the most amount of samples that I could get with antibiotic properties, which the goal of that is basically to have a bacteria with a circle around it that looked clear or like as close to clear as possible. And so the, uh, the op opportunity in finding those came with temperatures and light and um, how much dilution it had. So that could be one through seven units of dilution. And so I took the opportunity to use every single temperature I could, which was 25 Celsius, 30 Celsius, and 37 Celsius, which fun fact, 25 is room temp and 37 is body temp. And then um, overall research for the class was for uh, AMR research, and it was to help guide AMR research in the positive pathway than the negative pathway. And so we only got seven weeks to do this, but honestly, the seven weeks was perfect for me because I got a lot. So methods we used, we used a lot of methods, but the main method that we used the most for um, extraction of the bacteria would be serial dilution, which I have included a picture. And this is from my lab journal. So I promise this is exactly what I did. And um, I got really good results each time I did this. There was actually one time where I got like major results on one of the last plates. And that's like not really a normal. So I was excited. And then testing, we got to do 
like all kinds of biochemical tests at the very end, which was super exciting because I got amazing results. And so this is the fermentation test. And basically the outcome you want to see is yellow or pink. And so I got one of the best ones because I had a big bubble, which means that it had CO2 release and it was yellow. So that's even better because that means it's super acidic and that it can ferment glucose. My progression, so this is the three pictures that I have for my main progression because each of them are from a different time period, which surprisingly, the one that I had antibiotic properties on was like my second serial dilution, so that was really exciting. And then the one closest to that one would be the one with all the teeny tiny little colonies on it and the big one. And then the third one would be my master plate, and that was my final master plate and one of the biggest master plates I was able to receive. And um, within the seven weeks, I got all of this amazing growth and some that just did not grow at all. I had one plate that like was PDA agar and it had nothing on it the entire seven weeks. So that one didn't do very well. <laughs> so for results... Um, the entire experiment, I pretty much got like some like crazy results. I was unable to obtain a CFU result in a timely manner because whenever I finally got it, it was like one of my last serial dilutions and I was super worried about it because I didn't think that I was going to get it done, but I ended up getting it done and I was so excited because it was a huge number. I found 208 colonies on that and it was amazing. And then for the second picture, the second picture is actually another picture of my antibiotic uh, bacteria. That one is number 14. And there you can see the gram stain. You can see the cell morphology. You can see the shape. And it's just, it's honestly crazy because all of my other gram stains were not very good. Like at least not this perfect. Like this one is perfect because you can see a bright to purple color on the bacteria, which means that it's gram positive. And so conclusions, <laughs> honestly, it was a rough road getting to where I am today, but it was fun the entire way through. And I, I probably didn't say that the entire time I was in the experiment, but I definitely mean it now. And I actually believe that trial and error creates the best learning experiences because I learned early on that if you change your agar plate, you are going to get a very different result and probably a result you don't really want. Another result that I saw very often was swarmers. Swarmers were a huge thing and a huge killer for my bacteria because as soon as the swarmer hits, and you can't find what swarmer it is, that ruins the entire plate. And that could mean losing eight different colonies. For acknowledgement, I am so unbelievably grateful for the opportunity to participate in an experiment of this caliber. And I want to thank Shrining University for allowing the microbiology department to take part in this worldwide experiment. And I also want to thank my amazing professor that kept me grounded through the entire experiment. And I mean the entire experiment, Miss Crane. These are my references. So these are some of the ones that I use throughout the uh, experiment. And then this one at the bottom is actually the research and protocols guide that we used for the entire experiment that gave us like information and how to do each thing and it even gave us like tips and tricks and stuff like that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this experiment and I want to see if you want to do it. <laughs>